Hey everyone, Riverbolt here. Today I'm going to show you a video of how to set up your micro SD card for Emu Deck. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So basically, of course, you need a micro SD card first. I've got a uh, one terabyte here. Maybe it's hard to see, but yeah. And then I will um, put in my Steam Deck. So you may not really see anything pop up, to you, pop up yet, but that's because yeah, you need to go to settings after pressing the steam button. So after going down into settings, you need to go into system here, and then down to system settings in this uh, category of settings, and then press format SD card. And then you would want to confirm it. So yeah, it would be testing. Um, to see that it's um, working and everything, so that's why it would maybe take a while on this. If this is uh, taking a while for you, um, I just had mine go from uh, testing to formatting, and oh, there, it's done. Okay, so after doing that, maybe you'd want to go down to storage, and then see that it's um, working. So like, yeah, if you see my crusty card there, then yeah it's working okay then so then next you want to press the steam button then power and then switch to desktop I'm gonna plug in uh, a keyboard and mouse with via USB hub so I'll come back up I've done that to show you more how to set up emu deck and transfer over your um, files from your internal storage over to the SD card so once you're on your desktop in desktop mode, what you want to do is um, click on the deck. Then they should probably say update found. I want the want the latest versions, but yeah. So then yeah, it takes me yeah, welcome back to Indie Deck. So then, what you want to do is press continue and then press on your SD card, then next, then uh, Steam Deck, and then customize um, what emulators you want. So these are the ones I want. And then, usually, I leave this uh, by default like this, but you can uh, yeah, decide for yourself. And then, um, you can configure retro achievements if you want. Then yeah, continue. Then yeah, you get these customizations for if you want uh, vessels or stuff like that for your games. So this is like personal preference. I like it when it's like wider because yeah, I don't like when it's like a massive black uh, border this thing. Uh, yeah, hope no one gets pissed off in the comments. So, uh, yeah, I like it when it takes up most of the screen as you can. Okay, so you just kind of speed run this, and then you can, uh, yeah, select how you want emulation station to look like. Then you press uh, finish, and then you just have to wait for the installation to complete. It will create a ROMs folder and install emulation station to my SD card. And then, yeah, if you want to get the stuff coming from your internal storage over to the micro SD card, but yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you here. So now you would be on the screen after the installation is um, completed. So yeah, here it tells you about adding games. And then where you need to go to use the card. So uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna show you how to get from the turn. So then you can go and do Steam Bar Manager, but that's not what we want to do. So we are going to exit here. So next up what you want to do is press on the Dolphin 5 manager. And then it should bring you up to something like this. So then what you want to do is press on deck and then, yeah, you can right click onto primary here. 
and then yeah, open a new window. So basically what this is, is um, your folder for where you keep your BIOS HD packs from save storage and tools. So if you want to merge your internal with that, so all you have to do is drag this over, then press move in, then write into it. Yeah, apply to all. So yeah, you may have to skip a few stuff, but yeah, you probably saw I didn't press some uh, skip or maybe do that. So yeah, it will take 10 minutes for me, uh, so I have quite a lot of files on, yeah, for my emulation folder here. And then, when you want to get look at other stuff from Emudeck, then yeah, you'll find it here in home. Then yeah, you'll get your stuff there, but most of it lies in emulation. So, yeah. Uh, well, as you can see, for example, this is how it would probably look like for like uh, an SD card game. So yeah, that looks correct. And it probably will work if you connect it to retro or some other emulation using for your games. But let's test uh, Sonic 3D Boss for example. Uh. Well, as you can see, it's working quite well. We just went through the BIOS screen and yeah, there's the Sega logo, for example. Traveller's Tales logo. Yeah, a few more logos, but uh, yeah, I'd say this is working great. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.